Alright guys, uh, as you may know, I have not been posting on YouTube for the past couple weeks. And the only reason why is just because my life kind of got crazy. Um, a lot of plans changed. For example, like me and Jackson had to reschedule when he visits just because he had some taxes and stuff to do. But we're going to get that fixed up. We're going to definitely make sure that happens. Uh, I'm going to be back to posting weekly. I'm going to try and see if some weeks I can do two videos. Life happens. Um, it's hard to balance. Like... Social media, school, gym, relationships, like with friends and whatnot, like it, it does become a lot. And I know I've just started, and that's what's crazy is I, I see like how how rigorous these schedules can be, and it really does open your eyes as just a smaller creator as to how much effort these bigger guys are putting into their videos. So respect, um, it's exhausting, but I'm gonna do my best. I've got the next three months to grind. I've turned in my last exam of the year. Well, of the semester. It means it's time to get this show on the road, baby. It was like a combination of lazy and I just was so busy and I just wanted to finish up my school year with good grades, which I did, thank God. Um, well, I mean, so long as I do well on this exam, we'll find out. I have a lot of fun things planned for this video, so let's get it going. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathen, take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know Alright guys, that was my chest and back day Unfortunately, by the time I got to the posing room, it was just kind of out of whack. It was, it was like puddles and, um, you know, the lighting was just messed up because they just installed this big, like, pipe or tube or something that's just blocking the lighting. So I just didn't even, just didn't even feel like posing. I also hurt my shoulder, which I had talked about on TikTok and I maybe Instagram. I don't know. So I, I, did, I did take it easy because of that. I don't want to hurt it any worse. I think it either dislocated then relocated, like a slight dislocation or I retore it because I do have a torn labrum or just really tweaked it. I don't know. I mean, shoulders are weird, but yeah, so I just decided to take it easy, preserve my career. You know, it's not worth, it's not worth that extra rep to hurt yourself. So that also goes for everything. Like for you guys, let's say, you know, you want to hit that one extra rep, but uh, you're just like, nah, like screw my shoulder. Everybody's got that one shoulder. Don't do it. it, it if you feel like it's hurting, just stop and come back tomorrow and maybe put some ice on it. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into my biggest mistakes when I first started lifting. So number one, I just never was on a split. I had no idea what a split was. So I kind of did like a, if I had to explain my split, because I mean, technically everybody has a split. It was like a bro slash, like, <laughs> it was just kind of like a bro split, man, without legs. Um, a lot of you know I skipped legs for the first two and a half years of my lifting. I've always just had very thick legs which is a blessing. But yeah, I never had a split. I would just kind of go in there and do arms or I'd hit chest. I never did legs. Like I said, I never hit back either. I, I just kind of figured the back develops with the front. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I had no knowledge. I was just doing this in my basement. The only compound lift I did was bench. So I did get up to 280 though. I mean, I got a 280 bench in my basement, just like not having a clue as to what I was doing. So, I mean, that's kind of respect. Like, come on, give me a look. Thank you. So honestly, not being on a split definitely hurt my gains. Um, not only that, I just had no idea really what I was doing. So that's another thing too. I was ego lifting. And I was even ego lifting up until the point of about a month ago. And that's pretty much when you're going for like a lot of weight and you notice guys just like swinging, swinging, like kind of using their body. Recently, I've been doing form work and time under tension, negatives, whatnot. So when I'm like curling, I'm sitting there like this. Like even though I could go like that, like I could just, I could do it as fast as I wanted, but no, I'm, I'm literally sitting there putting myself through it and I'm breaking down every fiber and I've noticed that on my cut, certain like muscles have gotten bigger. So I would recommend stop ego lifting. Number one, like you're just going to hurt yourself at some point. Number two, you're just hurting your gains. And number three, an experienced lifter is just going to notice that and they're going to be like, all right, this dude has no clue what he's doing. And I bet a lot of people looked at me that way. No one cares what anybody thinks. Don't don't give a shit about anybody looking at you. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a fact. People would probably notice that 
you're ego lifting. Now that I do time under tension, I can tell other people are ego lifting and I'm just like, dang, like they're missing out on some games. And that's all that really goes through my head. I don't really care what anybody else does. So long as they're having fun and at least getting exercise in. I mean, you wanna do cardio with weights, be my guest. I recently just discovered form work, time under tension and all that. And it's benefited me. And it also just feels better. Like you can really feel the squeeze when you do everything. Especially on like lap pull downs, don't ego lift on those. If you're gonna ego lift, just don't do it on lap pull downs. Take your time with those, engage the muscle, or you're just not gonna see much growth. I always wondered why my lats were lacking up until now. And it's just cause I was like, I was putting like 130 on there, just pulling it as hard as I could. I'm not gonna lie, like my strength didn't go down, but like now I'm lifting like probably like 30 pounds lighter on everything and I look so much better. Like if people are wondering like maybe like why is his physique looking different? It's because I incorporated form work. I incorporated time under tension and I just stopped ego lifting. So that was another thing I wish I would have known. Number three is gonna be diet. I swear I thought you could just ride off protein shakes. Also, I just did not eat enough. I would eat like three eggs a day, almonds at lunch, a protein shake, maybe a protein bar, and then whatever mom made for dinner. And that just is not feasible if you really want to see a lot of growth. I mean, it got me into shape. I was in shape. I'm not denying that. For the first couple of years, like I said, I was ego lifting. My diet wasn't really there. But you can still get into shape doing those things. It just depends on what kind of shape you want to be in. If you want to be in bodybuilder shape, I recommend dieting. And I recommend incorporating form work. That's just my opinion, and that's what works for me. Don't take all this and think that this is your magic answer. It's, this is what works for me, and I've noticed it works for other people as well. I literally, from the, the time I started lifting, I was 16. Like, when I started doing it, like, more seriously, I'd say. Of course, I went in the base with my dad every now and then. It was, like, doing, like, my curls of 15s or whatever. But when I was 16 is when I really got in the gym. Man, I just wish I could go back in time and just, like, crack myself. It's like, dude, just eat, man. Like, do you think you can get bigger without eating more food? Like, how are you going to get bigger? if you're not gaining weight, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense, but I just kind of like assumed that my muscles would just grow and I'd gain weight that way, and that's just not gonna happen. If you're eating under your caloric maintenance, if you're just not eating enough, it's not gonna be as much growth. I mean, I'm sure if you're just starting out, of course you're gonna get your newbie gains, even if you don't gain weight, but like you're not gonna get anywhere past that. And that's why I went from, I think I started at like 135 in the beginning. I gained weight just because I got my newbie gains, I guess. And like I said, newbie gains only get you so far. After that, I think I got to like 150 because I did dirty bulk, which also don't do that. I dirty bulked and then I just recomped over the next year, stayed at 150, never saw any growth. I did not see any growth, like true growth until I started stuffing my face with like thousands of calories a day. And that's just the truth. I wish I would have known these things. So that's number three. Number four, stop hitting apps. Like dude, I put, I'm gonna put up a picture right now. This is what I looked like when I was hitting abs. Every day. Well, not every day, but like very often. I was like, dude, I need to hit abs. I'm gonna get jacked. I'm gonna have the best six pack. Nope. All I did was design a fridge looking waste. Like, what was that? So I had to come back from that. Basically, what I do for abs is nothing. I did my compounds, I diet, and that's how it works. When I was bulking, I did the compounds to build the muscles. And as I started cutting, I kind of took a step back from compounds just because my body felt a lot more nimble, weak, especially in deadlifting. When I was setting the weight down, I just felt vibrations through my entire body to the point where it kind of hurt. So I kind of took a break from heavy lifting, heavy compounds. Just the diet is what keeps my abs now. So that is how you get abs. I would say maybe some people benefit from hitting abs. I am not one of them. That is just me. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have similar bodies to me and will not benefit from any apps. And finally, the last thing, and this is a big one. No one gives a shit about what you look like in the gym. I can promise you that. I can promise you nobody's looking at you like, dude, that guy, oh, he's so small or he's so fat or whatever. No, they don't care. All of us have freaking body dysmorphia to the max. So everyone's just staring at themselves in the mirror like, dude, why is my tricep like this? Or Dude, my chest is so small. And they could probably be the most jacked person ever. And they're too concerned with themselves to even focus on you in the corner. Like, no one's looking at you like that. And if they are, then just don't even think about them. Ignore them because they are insecure and they are not even comfortable in their own skin. So just focus on you. That's the biggest thing. In the gym, just walk in. I'm not even saying be confident. I wasn't confident when I first started. But I'll tell you this. I was not focused on other people. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was watching myself grow. I'm telling you, I get this a lot. Like people tell me like, Ryan, like I wanna get in the gym. I'm just really nervous. People are gonna judge me. They're not, they're not. And like I said, if they are, then they got self insecurity issues. And that's not on you, that's not your problem. Your problem is getting better 
becoming a better version of you every day. Just 1% better if you can every day. And I promise you, you will love yourself in three months and you will come back to this video and you're gonna drop a comment be like, Ryan was right. And I'll be like, told you so. I'll reply, I'll be like, told you so. But I said, they don't care, man. Just do your thing, have fun with it. That's the thing too. At this point in my lifting like career or journey, whatever you wanna call it at this point, it's less fun because I take it so seriously now and it's at the point where, I don't know, it, there's just, there was something special about it when I first started. So if you're just getting into the gym, really enjoy those times. It, it's just, it's a different feeling. You know, it's, it's something new and it will eventually get boring. And that is where the motivation kind of dies out and uh, it, it separates the dedicated from the not dedicated. It's just the way it is in there. I saw plenty of people that were there for months with me in the beginning when I first started and a lot of them aren't there anymore, which is sad. I'm like, dang, like I wish you would have kept going with me, you know? But there are a lot of people that stuck with it and man, do they look great. So I'm just gonna tell you that. Stay dedicated. Don't worry about motivation. Don't worry about the forbidden pre-workout or whatever the hell it is that keeps you going. Dude, just do it every day because you wanna be 1% better. Even on the days that you feel like shit, you're like, damn, like I hate my body. You hate your body today? Get to the gym. Think your body's gonna look any better by standing in that mirror and just judging yourself? Because I promise you, you are your own worst enemy. That is a fact. I can tell you that because I am my own worst enemy. I mean, I look at myself in the mirror way too much and it just, I'm hyper-focused on little things that just don't matter. No one's perfect. No one's gonna be like 100% proportional. It's just not the way it is. And just remember this, there's someone out there that wants your physique and can't have it just the same way you want someone else's. So just know that you're unique and whatever body you have is great because that's your body and you should be proud of yourself. So those are the biggest mistakes I made as a lifter. And now it's time to go to exile and rip some push. Brad, leg check, you said you said we could get a leg update, so. Dude, they're not too bad, all right? All right, what are we doing today? Where are we going? Uh, exile. We're hitting up exile. You've never been, right? No, never. Not yet, all right, but we're gonna go hit. there's a lot of lights though. There is a dude, no, it's big. It's just like you finally feel like you can like breathe in there, man. It's like, it's pretty nice. So I think before we go, we're gonna get some food at like Wawa or we could do like Robex too, if you wanna do Robex. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so we're gonna grab some food before and like I said, we're gonna be hitting a push day today. So we're gonna get this day going, let's go. Welcome to the room of people who have rooms of people that they love. Alright, bro. What's your gas station order, bro? Alright, so we got some easy protein. It's valid. Need some fucking chapstick. You never know. You never know. Yeah. It's just and good then, to keep that uh, on. Some, on. some smart water. You know? Word. Word. Gas you know. You know what we rocking with? I'm always going for the rice krispies. Yeah, so, no, nah, I need. I'm trying to have a sick pump for this push day. So we're about like 20 minutes out. So see you guys when we get there. You live on the psychopath sitting next to you. You live on the murderer sitting next to you. You think gonna get this? All right, so we are now pulling in. This will be like my first time actually lifting here. I've been here before, but it was like a bunch of other people too. So I really just deadlifted because it was like it was really hard to just like focus. So we're actually gonna get a lift in this time. So I'm hyped. And it doesn't seem like it's too crowded. First time I was here, bro, I was like absolutely no parking. Oh my god. Yes, sir. All right, we in this bitch. All right, let's get it. <laughs> all right, so for the all that have never like been here, this is what it looks like. It's just like a big ass warehouse. We're going in now. Pretty hyped, dude. Pretty hyped. How you feeling, Brad? Let's get it. I'm ready. You got the pre? Is the pre hit you yet? Yeah, I'm tingling. You're tingling. It's the, it's the beta alanine, and uh, it's not even it's not even a real thing. You just know what's under your skin, right? It's the bugs, bro. All right, I can't hear shit. Can nah, you? Nah, it's nah. so loud in here, bro. I swear. Yeah. I like we in here. Oh yeah. So Yo told us like not to film other people, so we gotta find chill areas. We'll see how that goes. And after our last set, please don't forget. All my friends are here to take it slow. Wait for them to ask. Outside is very well. They say newcomers have a certain smell. Yeah, trust issues, not to mention. They say they can smell your intentions. You love on the freak show sitting next to you. You love some weird people sitting next to you. You think I did not get here sitting next to you? 
the posing room and um wow all i can really say right now is wow like y'all got oh wow your eyes right now bro dude yeah so this is how it works here basically xl has the natural light coming in like a downward huh so it's like mixed up downward and natural light so yeah i mean the lighting here is wild what are you doing well yeah dude in this room when I, last time i was here bro i was sweating my ass off it was way too fucking hot Smells like sweat. Yeah. Guys in sweat. Then we're gonna take some pictures now. We're kinda like halfway through the lift, but I feel like if you go through the whole thing, you're too exhausted to do anything. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and take our pics now and then finish up the lift. Uh, everything feels cold. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't really get too much time to work out because guess where did you gotta where do you gotta go, Brad? Where are we going? We're going to Chipotle. We're going to Chipotle. But he has to go to work after, so we had to cut the workout a little bit short. We got our posing in, which looks sick. So, I think we had a pretty successful day. Would you say so, Brad? I would say so. Would you say so? Yeah, so yeah, I kind of took it easy on shoulders. Um, I kind of talked a little bit on TikTok about it, but I tweaked the shit out of my shoulder. I think I dislocated it. It felt like it. But it's in socket. It just hurts to move. So like, yeah, we took it easy on shoulders. Kind of killed the tries, just because the arm's been lacking recently. But yeah, otherwise, pretty successful push day. Red Chipotle, I'm about, I'm about to get me a bowl. Oh wow, it's crowded as hell in here. Are we gonna film? Probably. All right, what you get, Brad? I got fucking two tacos, some tacos. Word, I got me. Good. Got that pollo asado. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, so we just finished Chipotle. We're heading back now. I might go back for a two a day and hit golds depending on how I feel when I get back. I don't know, I feel like we could have done more. We just kind of had, we just had a short amount of time to do what we wanted to do, so I guess we'll see. But um, other than that, I think that'll wrap it up for today. So either see you guys at Gold's or I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, uh, I'm, I've got Brian here, the OG cameraman. Uh, this time, I guess I'm behind the camera. Yeah, he's recording me now. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, anyway, we're heading back to the gym. We're not going to Exile again. It was, I mean, it, it's like, Actually, I was not too far, but it's like, I don't know. It's like 45 minutes to get there, and it took me and Brad a good hour to get home, so. I'm not trying to sit in traffic. Yeah, it's Friday night. it's pretty congested over there in Baltimore. So we're going back to Gold's Crofton. That's the home the gym. Yeah, we're going to be ripping some. Uh, some random workouts. Random gonna, stuff, I guess. We're just going to be yeah. doing some chest. Uh, some pretty much random, maybe. random push stuff. Yeah, just like, we're just going to find machines, and if they look appealing to us, then we'll just use them, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna mainly work on uh, shoulders and and chest, because me and Brad, we kind of killed our tries earlier, so definitely gonna be doing a lot of that. So, yep, I guess we, we'll just see you guys at the gym. Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. Okay, so we are at Gold's Gym. Um, I'm still like disgusting from the last lift, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wallow my sweat a bit. Fit check. Fit check. Oh, shit. What you talking about? Got the zebras. Leg check. Leg Hold check. Up. Yeah, got I got the, the zebras. zebras. I, okay, look, I've had these for like five years, so chill on me. It's like two, but. Okay, whatever, two years. We're gonna go kill this fucking. Let's go. Let's just go. Gonna hit you. Tell the people what you just did. I hit 225. Finally. So he joined the 225 club. Finally. How old are you, bro? Uh, 16. 16 year old doing 225, alright? How tall are you, bro? 6'2. There we go. Oh. Haven't been at the gym in a couple days. Lost like 10 pounds last night. Had a rough night. But, uh, I'm gonna get the gains back. You gonna get them back? I'm telling you, bro. I'm pulling out of my phone, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so tall. <sorry. laughs> <Just so funny. laughs> you gotta, you gotta have a long clip. <laughs> Hey, yo. Take one look in the mirror, implications 
picture so clear I live life with no fear Except for the idea That one day you won't be here I will not fetch the ball Eyes are green, I eat my vegetables It has nothing to do with that bra But if it did, guarantee she be gone Well, I got a plan with the walk in the pen If you can't understand, I'm a hawk in the pen Alright guys, thank you for watching uh, Originally, I was gonna do one long video But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spoil all two so this one is going to be out probably today's Friday, so expecting it to be out by like Saturday. And then next week I'm going to drop another one immediately. So I'll have two videos for you guys, this one included. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.